Hello, I'm Adam and today I want to present you a GMK Tech uh, Key 8 Plus. Uh, since my old droid died, I had to buy something and I went with AMD version. And uh, well, we'll see if is it that bad as you can everywhere read, like you don't got any acceleration in Jellyfin or something. And uh, yeah, but besides that, I got powerful cores, so we'll see. Okay, let's unbox it. Okay, that's how it looks like. Uh, wow. Um, this button on real is slightly, it looks slightly better, <laughs> but anyway, it's awful. We've got Oculink USB 4 and uh, fast USB 3.0s. Uh, for faster setup, avoid connecting LAN initially. Connecting my trigger long updates. What? I have no idea if is it with Windows already or not. But yeah, that's how it looks like. Uh, the casing is pretty nice uh, plastic, but yeah, it's very nice quality. Mm, okay. Uh, what's special about this board? How to unlock it? Okay, like this. Uh, yeah, what's special about this board? Uh, we've got eight cores, AMD uh, Ryzen 7 8845HS. Uh, we've got two uh, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet based on Intel, which is very important for uh, OpenSense uh, capability. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay, so yeah, we've got the mini PC itself. And next, what we've got there. I must say that the box is very nicely packed, packed like it feels about like premium. Okay, so we've got there some instruction manuals. Yeah, there is a specification. And the memory, as we can see, uh, it accepts a pretty fast memory. And we've got two NVMe SSD slots. And uh, beefy power supply is needed, yeah. And uh, yeah, if you read something from that, that would be good. Oh, yeah, and language changed. Okay, uh, what next? Next, we've got power supply, I believe. Yeah, uh, power supply with standard uh, DC jack. And it's 19 volt, uh, 6, 32 amps. Brand GVE. I have no idea what's that. Next, we've got some accessories box. Okay, we've got uh, cable. We've got uh, HDMI, which is directional. No, there is just JMK text what we've got next and I think that's some VESA mount for monitor and that's generally it okay now let's talk about SSD what I will go with I will go with uh, Samsung 990 Pro uh, with be quiet uh, heatsink as you can see it's a single sided M.2 drive so I heard that doubles won't fit this one will fit we will see and uh, the memory I will go with uh, pretty good, if not the best memory that is currently available, uh, two times 32 gigabytes and DDR5 5, 5600 uh, megahertz and uh, CL40, which is very good and we'll see if that will be acceptable by this mini PC. And uh, yeah, there are specific uh, memory uh, numbers and yeah okay so uh, how to get inside of that I think there are four screws okay that's how it looks like 
uh, I can unplug this cooling and that's how it looks like and what we can see we can see a Ethernet card uh, the Wi-Fi Intel AX200 and something which is covered and uh, there is uh, one SSD slot and there is second SSD slot or maybe this one is first I don't know and there are memories and uh, okay I see that everything there is glued uh, I mean those ports are uh, yeah using this tape uh, uh, to the enclosure okay finally I found the screwdriver and yeah it fits just very tight but yeah it's working Yeah, finally I'm in and uh, as we can see on the underneath the board we've got very massive uh, fan which I hope will live for long because it's pretty unstandard design and uh, okay I think we should remove it to see thermal paste I have to remove this sticker too it's pretty destructive to go to get that to the thermal paste and processor wow okay that's the model of fun Yeah, very tiny amount of thermal paste. But one second, I don't want to lose those screws. Yeah, as you can see, oh, it's light now. As you can see, very tiny amount of thermal paste. And there we can see AMD Ryzen 7. I have no idea if you see that. But yeah, whatever. Mm. Okay. And yeah, as you can see there, very tiny amount. Okay, so, and wow, there is nice copper uh, vapor chamber. Okay, now let's clean it somehow. Okay, so summarizing, uh, thermal paste replacement is pretty nightmare. I mean, I had to do a lot of actions and to be honest, I had to uh, un remove some tapes and yeah, but uh, you have to do it at least once and it will be fine. But yeah, basing on other uh, mini PCs like Odroid or CWWK, this one is unfortunately the worst one. And that's how the memories looks like. I see that uh, there is a text M2 SSD2 and there is a text M2 SSD1. So this is the first slot. Wow, as you can see SSD heatsink doesn't fit because it affects memory which is very bad to be honest so let's try with the first port okay okay uh, at the port uh, above the uh, wi-fi card it works but will it close okay and it looks like it will fit fortunately 
but it's very close and uh, the SSD okay it, it will have some airflow from this fun yeah so summarizing it's very a lot of things to do to change the thermal paste in this thing but fortunately it is possible maybe yeah there are some marks that someone was there uh, but yeah in general uh, pretty good quality unfortunately in the middle you want but unfortunately in the middle you won't fit a SSD heatsink which is very sad uh, because of the memory but yeah overall seems good so that's how it looks like uh, unfortunately I heard that if you have got this panel installed which it looks great to be honest but as you can see there is a very small gap for the air yeah so uh, I heard that if you remove this cover you will get some extra Celsius lower uh, so yeah regarding power consumptions uh, currently I'm running uh, blank Proxmox only one Ethernet cable is connected and nothing else and as you can see we've got around 10 watts 